Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick security update for a major problem that has been discovered today. Uh, was posted for the first time at 7 a.m. this morning and uh, it's very simple. The um, WPA2 encryption that we use on all our devices is compromised. Actually there's a security flaw that was discovered and that lets basically bad guys do a lot of things with that connection. Uh, they can for example do packet sniffing that means they can actually look at the data that you're uh, receiving so they could technically see passwords they could technically see uh, pretty much everything you do. Uh, they can inject packets that means they can actually redirect you to a page of their choice due to that security flaw. And it's a pretty big one because it's it affects almost everything that we own and it also affects everything that we own in a way that's very peculiar because WPA2 security is not going to be updated on everything. If you have modern devices, yes you will get a patch at some point, but on older devices it might never be fixed. You got an older router, you might need to actually buy a new router that has improved security in order to have it working. So um, basically, it's a really, really huge issue. Now, how can you protect yourself? Well, first of all, because of this flaw, even if there is a encryption, a passcode for the WPA2 and public Wi-Fi, now they're pretty much saying don't use public Wi-Fi at all. It is really, really much more dangerous suddenly as Pretty much anyone can sniff out the packets from your devices. Um, remember that the WPA2 encryption has two points here. It has your router or it has a public Wi-Fi for example, but it has your PC also. Your PC is also vulnerable. Your Mac is also vulnerable. Your phone. Why? Because it's sending out WPA2 packets. So they can sniff out what's coming out of your device also, not just from the router. Um, basically, what they are saying, try to avoid public Wi-Fi for now, uh, as long as it's not really fixed pretty much everywhere. The other thing also is, um, if you can, make sure that, you know, it, it's not a protection, 100% protection, but try to get to Wi-Fi through only secure pages, HTTPS. If you use a VPN, you turn it on and leave it on all the time. Once again, it's not a 100% guarantee, but it increases your chances of being all right. Now, turning off the Wi-Fi is really pretty much the only real uh, security. But before we say that, we don't really know exactly if anyone or how many people are actually exploiting this flaw. Right now, we have no idea. So uh, that's the interesting part of this. So you might actually be secure even though your Wi-Fi is on just because no one is doing it around you but it's you know we don't know we don't really know but one thing for sure is avoid public Wi-Fi is the most um, the, the, you know as much as you can um, they technically can't steal passwords if you're on HTTPS pages like banks but once again after reading the real security report they do say that on some devices there are workarounds. It depends on what device you're using. Uh, what's happening with this flaw is that it's not equal on all devices. Some devices have a variant of the flaw that is so bad that they do everything you want even on secure connections. On other devices it's not as bad so if you're on a VPN or on HTTPS you're protected because of the encryption, the added encryption that these pages give you. So it's really, really very, very peculiar because it depends on really where you actually are and what device you are using. Um, the best thing you can do, if it's at all possible in your home, is to um, turn off Wi-Fi from the router and just connect yourself directly with an Ethernet cable. There you are totally protected. Um, what will be important to do is to check regularly the manufacturer of your router did it issue a update that fixes this flaw first of all your PC also a Mac um, uh, a Windows machine a Linux machine you gotta have a patch that is applied 
on your computers. We know Microsoft is working on a patch. It should, I would guess, arrive at some point, maybe with next patch Tuesday. But every device is vulnerable. If you have an Android phone, older Android phones, uh, version 5 or earlier, are at the worst security patch possible for this. So they are vulnerable to the maximum attack. 6 and plus, 6 or 7 or 8, are vulnerable but are not as bad. Now, of course, patches will be issued and we'll need to have patches for that. So we'll keep you updated with this. And, uh, and you can see how complex the issue is. So uh, really it's the first real big uh, problem that we see with the uh, WPA2 encryption. And so we'll talk about it a little more probably tomorrow during the uh, live show. And hopefully things are uh, going to uh, be patched as fast as possible. But uh, be careful for now and uh, try not to use uh, Wi-Fi too much with sensitive data. You better be, uh, you know, hooked up somehow. And uh, of course, if you have a uh, smartphone, um, use your um, smartphone's LTE or cell connection for connecting securely to pages instead of Wi-Fi temporarily. As long, you know, at some point your phone is going to get an update and when that update is going to be fixing that issue. So we'll keep you updated on the situation here, but it's a pretty, pretty dire situation uh, with this Wi-Fi security flaw. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.